Hey friends, it's Jen from Gold Nutrition. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a quarter one recap of my planner lineup. We're going to talk about what's working, what's not, and what I'm going to be using going forward. So if that sounds good to you, then just keep watching. My friends, how are you? I hope you are having a great day. I need your help. <laughs> I want to talk about my planner lineup, where it's at, and what I want to do going forward. And while I have some ideas and, and some things are definitely staying the same, there's at least a couple sticking points that I'm a little stuck on. And I hope that talking it out with you will help me to figure it out. There will be a follow-up video where I will kind of show you what I'm going to be using going forward into quarter two. I have a 2023 planner lineup playlist. So all of those videos will be going in there. There's also setup videos you can find in that playlist. So I've got a pile of planners here and it really is for me a system. It's meant to all work together. So what I'm going to do is first kind of talk you through how my system worked before and what changed for this year. And then we'll kind of talk about each planner on an individual level and what's working and what's not. So this is my half letter. This is where I do my weekly planning and my wellness planning. This is my social media planner. I do my social media planning for YouTube and Instagram for Gold Nutrition and Planning Gold. This is what I lovingly call my Sunday planner. It's my use it when I need it planner. My budget planner. And my Moxie Life goal setting planner. So the way my system worked last year was that my half letter is my main planner, my ride or die. And it's where I do my weekly planning, my wellness planning. It's like a converging point for information. So for instance, I do my budgeting in my budget planner, but I'll also transfer that when certain bills are due into here. So it's in front of me all the time. So that's kind of how I do that. And I still do that. And then I had my Sunday planner that I had my lined vertical that I kind of used as an hourly layout to pre-plan my week. I had a meal planning extension pack to mostly to plan dinners, but sometimes lunches too. And some, I think some note paper. Oh, and my daily pages. And I kind of use those as needed. So that worked out really great last year. It's a little bit different this year. And I also had my social media planner where I did my social media planning for the Gold Nutrition YouTube channel, as well as my Instagram accounts, Gold Nutrition and Planning Gold. I did not have a separate budget planner last year. I did many different things over the course of the year, but mainly just put my goals within my planners, but also wasn't really doing a lot of goal setting last year to be frank. And that was kind of why I got the Moxie Life this year. Even though I know how to set goals on my own, I thought it would be great to have someone else's prompts. And I heard so many great things about the system, so I wanted to try it. So here's the Moxie Life. And now we can kind of start looking a little deeper into the, the planners and we'll kind of talk about how things have changed. I think I got cut off. I'm not sure where I left off. So just going to jump back in here. So I got a Moxie Life in part because I thought it would be cool to have a goal setting planner where like it was just the goals. It stayed all together and all of that. And it was such a beautiful planner. And I'd really been interested in trying the system so I got a flagship planner. It was not cheap. I have an unboxing of it. If you'd like to check that out, I'll link it. The system is great. The planner, it's a beautiful planner, but it's not working for me that great. It's working, but not great. So I'm a disc bound girl and I was like going to be okay with the O-ring because I wanted it to all stay together, but now I'm wishing I could integrate it into the rest of my system. I'm considering disc punching the pages, but I would have to trim it and punch it. And then what if I didn't like it and it's not quite the same size as my happy planner? I don't know. I'm not sure I want to do that. There's part of me that wants to do that, do that, but there's part of me that doesn't. 
But in here, the layout, let me show you in April. This is the monthly. I don't really use it in this planner. I do definitely use the monthly goals and the weekly actions for the most part. Here's the spread. It's aligned vertical. They do sell a washi that you can use to make it hourly, which is really cool, but kind of time consuming to be honest. And then what I do is map out blocks of time in my week to try to figure out where I have open spaces so I can film or, you know, get whatever done that needs to get done. And that's worked out really great. I used to have that with happy planner lined vertical pages in my Sunday planner. I loved it there. But what I have learned is that going forward, I want an hourly layout. And that's happy planner size to integrate into that planner. So I don't even have to write in the times and all that. Because when I do this on a Sunday or Saturday, whatever, when I do it in preparation for my week, it does really, really help me. But it can't be a time consuming process or I just won't end up doing it. So I think eventually when I replace stuff, that's what I'm going to do. But as for, am I going to keep this planner together or am I going to take it apart? I don't know. I don't know. So if you have thoughts, I would love to hear them. So speaking of my Sunday planner, I have no complaints about it, except that I want to change the disc. So I put clear plastics discs from the Happy Planner. They were from another Happy Planner. They're cool, but I just, I really prefer metal discs. So metal discs are going to end up going on here. And then I have a deluxe cover from the Happy Planner. So if you want to see the full setup of this and everything that's in here, I'll link that video for you. But mainly what's in here is that I have... I have daily pages. So these are colored daily pages from a happy planner, daily planner. And then I also have neutral ones from an extension pack. I really like these daily pages and I use them. <clears throat> I still have the meal planning extension pack, what's left of it. And I do use it off and on, mostly, like I said, to plan dinners, but sometimes to plan lunch. Here's what it looks like blank. Then I have some recipe pages because I want to do some recipe planning. Then this is where my goal setting was going. I had put these, uh, I forgot what they were called, but it was filler paper from that sewing line that I'd put in here. But I actually just got this goal setting journal that if nothing else, I want this page out of. And so I'll probably be replacing those with that. I'm probably going to put this cover on there too because I love it. And then I have some gratitude journaling pages and some lined paper to use for journaling. I'm not the best about journaling, but if I give myself a space to do it every now and again, I will. And this is, this is fine. This is my no pressure planner and I have no complaints about it, except that I wish, I don't know. I kind of want to get my goals into here and just make it one big planner. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> then I have my budget planner, which is a very frank and bland planner. We have the parts of the, this was an 18 month uh, dashboard layout from last year. So it's not available anymore, but brand new ones are coming out. Probably they're out at the time this video is, is going up. This planner is working out great. I can't show you where it's filled out, but it's mainly the monthly spread that I use. I do like to decorate it. Um, I have videos where I've done that in the past. And then it goes into these bulleted pages from the monthly layout and these lined notes pages. So yeah, I'll link some videos where I show kind of how I set this up, but <clears throat> excuse me, but overall it's working out. I am still using the zip folio. All right, guys, I am having technical difficulties. So I do apologize if things get spliced together oddly or if there's quality differences between footage. 
I want to let you know that I do have affiliate links down in the description box for the Happy Planner, Jane's Agenda, and Impress Manicure. If you choose to shop those links, I will earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. So if you choose to do that, thank you so, so much. So what's not working or is semi-working around my budget planner is my zip folio. So I did share this in a previous video. It's really nice. I think you can still get it and that it's still at a sale price, but I'm not 100% sure. I will try to link it for you if I can. But the problem was, was that I still do a lot of my bills on paper. And what I wanted was to put the current bills that were due into here with the planner and then the paid bills, they get filed. That hasn't always been working. So what I'm gonna do in April is set some goals that are specific to the system to help me get the system back on track. So if you want me to share that, let me know, but I'm hoping that will help me. Then I have my social media planner. This hasn't been working out lately. I'll link a video where I set it up because I really haven't been using it as intended. But what I have used off and on is the section that is meant to be for social media. I'm just going to turn to a blank. So this is a, the monthly planner, Frank and Bland with the dashboard planner. And doing that, like flip-flopping those two planners really work. Here's the dashboard layout. I love to decorate the dashboard layout, which is why I've kind of stuck with it for a while because I wanted to use it for something. I used to use a mini happy planner with a dashboard layout for my everyday planning, which I really did love. And if you know where I can find a dashboard layout for half letter, please let me know. But I don't know that it's working perfectly. And what I've been thinking I wanna do is switch to a teacher layout. But the problem with the teacher layout is that it would take a certain amount of setting up. It wouldn't just be good to go, but I am gonna try it. So let me know if you'd like me to set that up with you on video, I could do that. I'm gonna try it. It's not that this is awful, this can work. It does work. I don't know if part of the problem why I wasn't using it consistently was because like I kind of said before, I had too many planners I was trying to lug around. And what I have considered is just moving this into my Sunday planner. The other you know, portion of this planner was business planning stuff, which I've used a little bit, but I am still kind of taking steps towards bringing gold nutrition back to the forefront of my life. So that's part of why I wasn't using it. So that's also why I'm a little bit hesitant to break down this planner. Yeah, so I think social media planning's not leaving. I absolutely love this cover from Live Love Posh. And that's part of another reason why I set up separate planners. There were other more valid reasons, but I also just really love making beautiful planners. And yeah, I love this cover from Live Love Posh. And I just saw she's coming out with new ones that have a clasp closure and pockets. What? I, oh, and other colors. I'm really, really excited for that. If I need to, I might combine some things. Like I said, there'll be a video coming where I will show all of that. I'll probably do setups on camera. I love doing that. So I usually do that. And then I'll kind of like wrap it up and show you how I'll be moving forward with my system going into 2023. So lastly, let's look at my half letter. As I've said, the hub of my system, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I get the Jane's Agenda sub box and I love to change up my planner all the time. <laughs> Every month, basically, since I've been getting that sub box, I like to change up my covers and like the, the dashboards behind my dividers and it's really, really fun. And it doesn't feel like uh, labor. I just enjoy doing it. If it felt like labor, I just leave it together because I end up loving it every time. Right now I have this, um, vegan leather cover from ARC and I have rose gold metal discs from the Happy Planner. This stunning, stunning cover from Jane's Agenda and yeah, so beautiful. My main layout in here is this Jane's Agenda weekly number five. These inserts are really intended to be a one pager. So you have a long to-do list, days of the week here, habit tracker, a little tiny monthly, and then dot grid on the other side that is dated the same as this side, and you can use it as you like. But instead, I've been adding a page of dot grid to the beginning of each month, and then using this side and using it as a two page, kind of making my own dashboard layout. It's been pretty cool. The only thing that goes awry, you might 
sympathize if you are a content creator. If you're using your planner for your content, sometimes it can interfere with the use of your planner. And as a decorative planner, I've allowed that to happen before. And this layout, to use it the way I really want to, sort of requires me to do some setup ahead of time. So I have to come to terms with the fact that maybe I can't do it every week or just skip a week to get ahead or I don't know. I don't know. You know, I hate to say too much because in a sense, sometimes I feel like decorative planning doesn't get respected, but I see the beauty in it and the creativity and the important thing that is to a person and the community that's built around it and, and all of it. You know, why are we all here in the planner community? All for a very similar reason. Um, you know, it's, it's the organization and the productivity and making life better and holding ourselves together and all of that. But it's also, for some of us, the connection that comes from the shared creativity and, you know, the beautiful friendships that are formed over that common interest. It's such a beautiful thing, isn't it? So I don't want to give up decorative planning, but I also don't want it to interfere with planning. <laughs> so I'm trying to strike the balance, but overall I like these inserts a lot. Then I have these Jane's Agenda uh, self-care inserts that came in one of the sub boxes. She gave us three months very generously. The issue that arose for me when I first used them, I dated the whole month ahead of time and I used them great. Did I use every single week? No, but overall I used them. This past month, I didn't date them. I didn't use them. Uh, so I'm just learning to work with myself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just holding off. I'm putting any uh, stuff that I want to track into my weeklies for the rest of this month. And then I'm going to restart with these for April and I'm going to date them. And yeah, that's kind of my plan moving forward. I also kind of changed up my planner this month. I took out the notes, which I'm, I wish I didn't because now I'm missing them. And I put in this, what was supposed to be quarterly overview, but they're not going to work out for me because they're Monday start. <laughs> so I need to rethink it. So there will definitely be an April setup where I kind of tweak this back to its original situation. Uh, so if you enjoy those kind of videos, maybe you would consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so that it's to all and you will be notified when those videos come out. And if you're enjoying this video, I would appreciate it so much if you would give it a like and, you know, comment below what you think. I, I would love to be engaged in a conversation about this. Okay guys, thanks for talking that out with me. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm still a little uncertain about a few things, but I have some ideas brewing. I have some thoughts. I'm going to still keep thinking on it. I'm kind of leaning towards not taking apart my moxie life just yet, but definitely building kind of a, a workbook to go alongside it within my Sunday planner and start there and then see if I really want to transfer all of it before I before I take apart a beautiful planner. You know what I'm saying? But I am gonna make some tweaks to, to my social media planner and to my half letter. Budget planner staying the way it is, but working on goals around my system of use for my budget planner and folio and see what that does. So thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. That is gonna do it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Bye.